Hello, and welcome to Cots Week 3, Unit 2, Bring Predictive Insights with AI. My name is Michael Ren. I am a product expert from the SAPS for HANA Regional Implementation Group, and I present to you this Cots Unit from Shanghai, China. Artificial intelligence is changing our lives and the enterprise business as well. We are expanding the use of AI across all business critical functions, like sales, finance, procurement, supply chain, and so on. In this unit, we'll focus on how predictive analysis and machine learning in SAPS Bahana can help you working smarter. So the first question might be, how can you as a business user benefit from AI in SAPS Bahana? I will explain this using this diagram. So starting from the left, as a business user, you probably need to deal uh, with a lot of operational tasks daily. So some of them are manual and time consuming. Business applications or uh, technology uh, like IRPA can help automating routine tasks. This allows you to spend more time on gathering uh, business insights and focusing on critical and value adding tasks. This means we are now moving on to the second step on, of this diagram. So we have automated parts of the daily operations. And you have now time to gather um, real-time insights. So working with real-time insights is very important, of course, but it tells you little about the future. Everyone is convinced that uh, the more effort should be spent on uh, forward-looking insights. So we move over to the right of this diagram, and this is where advanced analytics comes into play. So the system learns from the data in the past with certain uh, machine learning algorithms uh, and assists you uh, with advanced reporting uh, capabilities like um, predictive analysis. This allows you to focus on daily critical tasks and managing uh, potential future challenges uh, in advance in advance. The next slide shows an end-to-end -end intelligent order to cash process. The process starts with the inquiry and the quotation management and ends with delivery and the receivables processing. I'm going to highlight a few tasks supported by machine learning technology in SAP S4 HANA. The first one is predict sales performance which is a step two of, of this diagram. Sales managers are required the regular insights whether sales targets are being achieved. Sales performance prediction scenario uh, allows sales manager to forecast achievable sales volumes and develop the sales plans periodically. The second one uh, is quotation conversion rates, which is a step three of this diagram. Sales manager have to monitor the quotations which have to be converted to sales orders in order to extend them before expiry. The quotation conversion rate scenario provides a reliable prediction to monitor uh, the probability of a sales quotation being converted to a sales order, assisting to plan more reliably. The third one uh, is sales order extraction. So which is a step five of this diagram. The sales order extraction scenario allows the sales manager uh, to, um, uh, so, sorry, the sales specialist to extract the sales order data from uh, unstricted source format, like email, PDF, etc., And it creates the sales order automatically. So this reduces the manual effort uh, of, uh, by automatically capturing and entering all the data into the system thus significantly increasing the efficiency in the sales order creation process. The last one I would like to mention uh, is predicted delivery delay, which is a step seven of this diagram. Customers uh, expect their orderings to be delivered on time, and any delay can cause financial losses and penalties. So with predicted delivery delay, sales or warehouse specialists can monitor the current delivery performance situation and instantly uh, recognize the issues and triggering the appropriate actions to prevent a critical delay of delivered 
and to avoid a rescheduling of transportation. Now you will see a demo of the process. Welcome to the demo part of this unit. Imagine you are a sales manager of a bicycle manufacturing company. You and your team are under pressure to make your monthly revenue goals. Every month, you are also required to provide a reliable forecast for future periods. So now you log into the SAP S4 HANA system and open the Sales Performance Prediction app. This app uses SAP S4 HANA embedded analytics and machine learning. You can see your real-time actual performance by month, by sales organization, by customer, and by product on the top. In the major area, you can also see the actual sales volume, the predicted value, as well as the sales targets in a single place, instead of having to run multiple reports. So when you check the actual sales by customer here, you see there is a big gap about the actual sales volume for the customer Smart Bike Incorporated. You can see the actual data is only around 1600 US dollars, but in the planning data, we have 11,000 US dollars. So besides, the prediction is very promising and it's about 23,000 US dollars. So it will be very interesting for you to figure out why there is such a big gap. Let's have a look. For instance, you can start with checking the open sales orders as an action. So click open sales. So it brings you to the sales volume report. You can see for Smart Bike Incorporated, there are some open deliverables, about 4.8 thousand US dollars. So you can try to drill down into more details by checking different delivery documents. So you can open the mini chart and click on the Sales Order Fulfillment app to see if any invoicing issue related to the deliverables. Indeed, there is one uh, invoicing issue. So check on the issue and then click on the Resolve Sales Order Issues. We could see for this sales document, it's already delivered, but it's not invoice. So we can quickly create the invoice. The invoice then is created, the issue is solved. So when you go back to the Sales Performance Prediction app, so you can see the sales volume was increased automatically and instantly. You can feel a, a bit relieved for the talking now. So you might, uh, you might ask how the prediction works. So let's have a look at the second part of the demo. The prediction in SAP S4 HANA relies on the machine learning models behind the scenes. Before you can use those predictions in the different scenarios, the machine learning models have to be trained first. Essentially, either you or your analysis specialist need to go into the Intelligent Scenario Management app. This app is part of the Intelligent Scenario Lifecycle Management Framework in SAP S4 HANA called ISLM. It helps you to create, train, deploy, and activate those machine learning models. Depending on the version of your SAP S4 HANA system, the UI might look a little bit different. So in this case, we go into the sales uh, performance prediction scenarios. So you will notice that by default, there is one model which is already created. The model needs to be trained first before it can be used. So if you click on the training button, you can apply filters on the training data set. If you click on the model, it will show you uh, different versions. Each time the model is trained, a new version is created. You can pick and choose which version you want to activate for predictive usage. Each version has some kind of quality assignment to it. Let us have a quick look. The quality information of this model includes the predictive power, prediction confidence, and AUC. The value is between 0 and 1. The higher the value, the better the prediction. All right, so now you understand what to be done before you can use prediction, uh, predictive scenarios in SAP S4 HANA. This is the end of the demo part.
Okay, let's continue with the presentation. Now we talk about uh, the machine learning apps are obviously intelligent order to cache process. So you might wonder where you can find more use cases. There are many machine learning and predictive scenarios released in different LBs in SAPS for HANA. So you can access the best practice via the SAP Signal View Process Navigator with the setup information. The available uh, scope item IDs are listed on the left of each use case. The release scenarios will be upgraded and there will be new ones as well. So you can check, the, uh, check out the relative information at SAP S4 HANA Machine Learning Roadmap. So as a next step, you might want to know a bit what is required to use SAP S4 HANA Machine Learning at high level. Let's have a look. There are different approaches. The first approach is the so-called embedded mode. So where you use the machine learning libraries and algorithms available in SAP HANA database, which is the underlying database of every SAP S4 HANA system. The sales performance prediction demo just now uses this approach. The second approach is the so-called side-by-side mode. This is a more complex one. So in some scenarios, uh, you might need, uh, you might require some deep learning technologies, uh, which SAP HANA database cannot provide. There also might be case, uh, be the scenarios where you need non SAP S4 HANA data sources. So you can leverage SAP Business Technology Platform, which includes SAP Data Intelligence, SAP AI Business Services, or uh, even non SAP machine learning libraries like Google TensorFlow or other open sources. The third approach you can see uh, on this diagram uh, is SAP um, Analytics Cloud. In this approach, you can import your SAP S4 HANA data into it, and you can quickly generate dashboards and forecasts with automatic machine learning algorithm. You don't even not uh, need, uh, you do not even need deep knowledge in machine learning or SAC dashboard uh, development. Now, the fourth approach and any of those um, approaches mentioned above you will be able to enhance them or create your custom ones for sure. So where can you find more useful information related to SAP AI? Here is a list for you. Uh, one thing I would like to highlight is the so-called SAP Global AI Ethics Policy. So we believe AI is developed to support users to make a wider decision, but not a biased one. The SAP Global AI SX policy seeks to ensure that SAP's AI systems are developed and used in line with the ethical standards in the externally uh, published AI SX guiding principles. This is essential for everyone to uh, build trust in SAP AI solutions. There are also other uh, open SAP courses and micro learnings related to AI in SAP S4 HANA, recommended on this page as well. Um, there are even more useful links and documents you might want to check out if you are interested. Okay, now we are coming to the end of this unit. Here are a few take uh, takeaways. Uh, firstly, uh, hopefully you uh, now understand a bit how machine learning in SAP S4 HANA helps you to gain more predictive insights in your business processes. And in SAP S4 HANA, SAP has released out-of-box use cases uh, based on machine learning technology. And you can also create your own uh, custom ones, for sure. So state-of-the-art AI capabilities in SAP S4 HANA are powered by SAP HANA Database, SAP Business Technology Platform, and SAP Analytics Cloud. Okay, with this, I would like to conclude Unit 2. Please join my colleague, Betty who will present React faster with situations in the next unit. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.